Today I'm sharing with you five healthy desserts that can be made without any baking. I tried making these desserts for days when I do want to indulge but with healthy ingredients. And it is an added bonus that all of these are no-bake recipes which means they are slightly easier to put together. I'm starting with ice cream or actually nice cream. For this you do need frozen banana so what I do is whenever I get a fresh batch of bananas I top up a couple of them and stock them in the freezer so that way I have them ready whenever I want to make smoothies or this recipe. So here is one really large frozen banana that I'm adding to my blender jar and then I'm adding about half a cup of milk to it but bit by bit. That just helps blend this better. And to this I'm adding a generous spoon of almond butter and blending it and then I'm adding cocoa powder about one tablespoon and also the rest of the milk and blending them all. Banana desserts generally don't need sugar but since I've added unsweetened almond butter, cocoa and milk I did need to add a little bit of sugar and now this is ready to get set. So it needs to be slightly thick and then it can be set in a freezer safe box. And after about 7 or 8 hours, you have your banana chocolate nice cream ready. And it does have a super creamy texture and such a beautiful flavor of banana along with a hint of almond butter and of course chocolate. It does melt really fast, so best to lap it up quickly. Next are these granola chunks that, believe me, can be such an amazing snack or even fulfill that post-meal sweet cravings. For this, I'm using ready-made granola. You can even use plain rolled oats or your favorite cereal or muesli. And to that, I'm adding about 2 tablespoons of almond butter, a generous amount of honey since my granola is unsweetened, a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, and about a tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder. Then I'm adding about a tablespoon of melted warm ghee. You can even use butter here if you wish. The warm ghee helps mix everything together and once that's done, you just transfer it to a box or a bowl and put it in the fridge for just a couple of hours and then this is set and ready. And feel free to shape them in any way you want but I just adopt this lazier method and trust me this is such a satisfying dessert and what I love the most about it is the lingering cinnamon flavor. I'm also trying to make my own granola so if you want a recipe on that then do let me know in the comments below. And this is a bit of a bonus but with that same granola you can make this parfait. Just layer yogurt, your favorite fruit and granola together and you can also add some honey or maple syrup if you wish and this is such a great option for breakfast or dessert. Next are these chocolate cups with a layer of crunchy almond butter. For this I'm taking some cocoa powder about 2 tablespoons and adding about 1 fourth cup of milk to it and sugar as needed and a teaspoon of fresh cream. You can add more if you like a richer feel to this about half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and just blending these all together. And I felt it a bit too thick so I added just a little bit of milk again. Once you get this liquid yet creamy texture, it's time to put it in cups or cupcake liners like I'm doing it. So here I've used about half the mixture we made and once these are filled up, I put them in the fridge for them to set. It usually takes about 2-3 to three hours. And once that's done, I take them out and top them with a layer of almond butter. You can even use peanut butter or Nutella if you like or even caramel. My personal choice is some sort of nut butter. And once the butter is added, I top them up with the rest of chocolates. So the butter is like a layer in between the two chocolate chunks. And this is optional but I do like to top it with a little bit of ground nuts. And then these are set again and that can take about 3-4 to four hours. And here these are ready and this is how they look when they're ready. The nut layer in between is just amazing and I recommend using crunchy almond butter here because it just adds a nice feel to it. And I like that these are cup sized so I can kind of control how many I eat in a go because trust me these are too yummy. Now we have another fruit based dessert and these are melon pops. The kind of weather we have in Mumbai right now, I think these are perfect for it. So for these two you need frozen fruit. I have a box of watermelon and a smaller box of 
musk melon here and just wait for them to come to regular temperature and then throw them in the blender so first i got the watermelon in and then the musk melon and here i have this slushy texture almost and you can add water while blending if needed and then i'm squeezing in a whole lime a little bit of sugar because the melon wasn't very sweet and a pinch of salt as well it just adds to the flavor once that's done you just put this in the popsicle mold and set it this can take about four to five hours to set and here they are absolutely ready i did add a few bits of tutti frutti to mine and you can also add them or just add some chopped fruits instead since these are all natural they don't last for too long but i don't think that's going to be an issue since i'm pretty sure you're going to want to binge on them a lot Finally we have these peanut butter cups and they almost feel like a yummier version of Snickers. So for this I'm taking peanut butter and this is unsweetened so I will be adding sugar to it and a spoon of instant coffee powder and a big spoon of cocoa powder. And then you need about a cup of milk in it but keep adding it in batches and stir it in until you get this thick yet creamy consistency. Then we set it in small cups or bowls or plates or like me in this cupcake tray with liners. I'm filling it in about halfway with the peanut butter paste we made and then you can add whatever you like in the center. So I've added dates, some vegetarian marshmallows and chocolates. Cover these up so these are like a hidden surprise treat inside and top them with a layer of powdered biscuits. Once this whole thing sets in the fridge for about uh, five to six hours the biscuits almost feel like a thin uh, tart of sorts and it just adds a nice feel to this my favorite surprise treat is the one with the marshmallows and i'm so glad i found these vegetarian ones on amazon and i'll link them below in case you're looking for vegetarian marshmallows as well so I hope you enjoyed these healthy no-bake dessert ideas. Do let me know if you try them out and I'd love to see pictures of your dessert. So make sure you tag me on your Instagram whenever you try it or let me know in the comments of this video. And let's just face it, we all love indulging in desserts. And if you want a few more healthy dessert recipes, then also let me know that in the comments as well. And I'll try to film a, maybe a part two to this video. And don't forget to give this video a big like and it really helps when you press that thumbs up and support my channel. And share this with your friends and family and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!